If you've been thinking of buying a starter home in Gresham or Southeast Portland under $400,000, but you're not wanting to do a major remodel, I think I might just have the home for you. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through a listing of mine that just came on the market. It's at 2193 Southeast 16th Street. So let's just jump right in. So this townhome just came on the market. It's listed at 375, uh, which is subject to change. So make sure you're looking in the right spots to know what the actual current price is when you're looking at this. Um, and it was built in 2020. So it's really essentially brand new. So I'm jumping over here to Matterport, which is the 3D tour. And I'm going to show you around real quick. So this is the neighborhood you can see. Uh, it's really a quiet street. The only uh, cars that drive through here are actually going uh, to this neighborhood because there's no other streets anywhere else. So there's a little hummingbird feeder. Uh, you can see that the streets are decent sized. There's a lot of sidewalks. It's really walkable, really quiet. Um, it is a townhome. Now, some people have concerns about townhomes because they're like, well, I don't want to be right next to neighbors. Uh, but these townhomes have advanced damping features for sound. So unless your neighbor's really loud, it really shouldn't matter too much. They've also got an AC, which doesn't really matter right now because it's January, but in the summertime, you really want that. Okay, so let's head inside. The nice thing about these townhomes is that, uh, so just over 1,300 square feet, but the layout is really intuitive and really usable. So you can see in the living room, um, just kind of looking around here, there's a spot for the table, a spot for the living room. Um, there's a kitchen over here. Jump right over here. The fridge will be going with the sellers, uh, but the rest of it obviously is going to be staying. So like I said, pretty much everything is brand new. Right back there is the garage. It's a two-car garage. There's some storage uh, shelves, quite a, quite a good amount of storage too. Um, storage behind there, and then a bathroom downstairs. So you're not having to go upstairs to go to the bathroom. More storage right here. And then they've also got a smart uh, thermostat. There's also a, a ring doorbell, which you may have seen coming inside. Um, that's really nice as well. So let's jump upstairs, come up here. So you can see there's a bedroom here, bedroom here, um, they've got this set up for their kids. They got a bathroom right here, so you can kind of jump in and see, smile to the camera. Just your standard um, standard upstairs main bathroom. Uh, what's cool over here is there's a little area for the kids that can be, they use for their kids. Um, this could also be a spot where you'd put your desk or um, any, basically any other workspace. Laundry, laundry room is right here. Um, Kind of nice you don't have to bring your laundry up and down any stairs and then the main bedroom right here so big enough for a king bed there's also a slide out deck um, so you can have some furniture out there if you like going outside in the mornings and reading anything like that and then down there is the alleyway uh, and the driveway where you park your car right inside here you've got uh, the bathroom high again to the camera uh, closet bathroom again so it's it's pretty standard um, one of the other cool things about this neighborhood is that there is also um, community gardens and there's gazebos and fire pits. So the community really comes together, especially during the summer months. There's a lot of green space. I'm going to show you something real quick. So I'm jumping over here to a Google Maps view. You can see what this neighborhood looks like. So really, there's no other people that are going to be coming here. Uh, it's cool also because there's um, like a huge park right across the street. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, but right here, I'm going to drag this little guy doop, right over to the community garden. So you can actually like rent out one of these spots here. Let's move over a little bit. You can rent out one of these spots, these little garden beds, and actually like have your own garden, which is pretty cool. He's also got a gazebo. There's a little fire pit right there. Tons of green space. So like if you've got kids, this is a great spot for them to come and play and get to know other people from the neighborhood. Um, a lot of these houses actually back up right to this spot. Uh, so it's just a really cool feature of this neighborhood. So if you're interested in this home or want to learn more, feel free, you can reach out directly to me. Or if you've got an agent, talk to your agent. You can schedule a showing through them and they'll talk to me and ask anything that they need to ask. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, my contact information is right there. Got more information down there uh, in the description. So thanks for watching and I hope you come check out this home.